hey guys welcome back so in google ivo i'm pretty sure many of you have heard about the palm 2 model even though the course is uh, lambda uh, google was initially using lambda for bart now they have upgraded to palm 2 so palm 2 is nothing but path language model and whatever parameters they had had now they have scaled to 500 and 40 billion parameters so when we say 540 billion parameter it is uh, on par or better than uh, on par or at least better than gpt4 so the scale of parameters that have been trained is uh, amazing and it you it has been uh, trained using tpus and i'll point you to the paper here which is 65 papers 87 pages long i've just taken the important snapshots for the purpose of this lecture i haven't gone into greater detail because uh, this itself would be a course and i'm pretty sure not everyone would be interested into that level of detail but i will point you to the uh, article wherein you can read all the detail how this transformer was trained so as google themselves say as scale of the model increases performance across tasks while also unlocking newer capabilities so and on top of it uh, the google also talks about multilingual uh, data sets that include high quality web documents, books, Wikipedia, conversations on GitHub code. Uh, they have also created something called as a lossless vocabulary that preserves all the white spaces, especially important for code, uh, splits out vocabulary, unicode characters into bytes and individual tokens, one for each digit. As far as I know, this is very well trained on Python dataset, but Google recently announced this will also support 20 other programming languages. And the breakthrough capabilities that it has achieved are in variety of uh, areas. So some of them are uh, what Google talks about are on language reasoning and code tasks. So Google have evaluated it on uh, 29 widely used English natural language tasks. Uh, so with uh, 540 billion parameters training, it has surpassed a few short performance of prior language model such as GPT-3, Megatron, NLG, Grofer, Lambda on 28 out of 29 tasks. So 28 out of 29 tasks, uh, Palm 2 performed well or even better than this existing models and here are some uh, improvement over SOTA so that's basically what they're talking about here and this is explained in greater detail on the training data set that was used in the paper so if you are more interested you can go through that and it also talks about something on let me try to get you that here so it talks about tokens that are used for each of this model and it also talks about uh, here you see lambda here you see variety of other models how they have performed so uh, this is like uh, on each tokens multilingual and other stuff so this would be too boring if i go into all of it in the detail so i'm just going it in brief detail so people who don't know much of programming can also understand if you want just leave a comment i'll make a greater detail on 87 pages so that should roughly be an hour's worth of time uh, so but i do have that paper attached for you to self-study so here is what google claims they can do it better so demonstrates impressive natural language understanding and generation capabilities on several big tasks so model can distinguish cause and effect understand conceptual combinations in appropriate context and even guess a movie from an emoji so here you can see which of the following sentence so which movie is this emoji so it's able to predict some of this so i think google also had a card game on uh, google io which was done using a similar model here so the next one let's look at what they talk about 
it is uh, reasoning so by combining model scale with chain of thought prompting palm shows how breakthrough capabilities on reasoning that require multiple step arithmetic or common sense reasoning prior llms like goffers saw less benefit from the model scale in improving performance so in palm2 combined with chain of thought prompting on three arithmetic data sets and two common sense reasoning data set so eight short prompting pam solves 58% of problems in gsm 8k a benchmark of uh, thousands of challenging grade level math questions outperforming prior top score so 55% was achieved by gpt3 which was a 175 billion parameter training i need gpt4 they haven't mentioned what was the training data set but it is said that pam2 scored 60% which is 5% higher than what uh, gpt3 had scored i don't know the gpt4 score because that's not public yet so remarkably pam can even generate explicit explanations for scenarios that require a complex combination of multi step logical inference world knowledge and deep language understanding so if you look at this example below it can provide a high quality explanations of novel jokes not found on the web and again uh, some might not find it funny some might find it funny but we are just looking at uh, the context here and uh, this is just for educational purpose to understand what's been trained here and the other task which they talk about which gpt4 uh, uh, which is pam has done a good job is uh, it is able to do well in generalized to coding tasks such as writing code given a natural language from text to code translating code from one language to another and fixing compilation error code to code so pam a uh, model with 540 parameters so very strong performance across coding and natural language tasks in a single model even though it on, it has only a 5% code in the pre training data set its few short performance is remarkable because it's on par with the fine tuned codex 12 billion parameter model with 50 times less python code or training so the result reinforces earlier finding that language model can be efficient than the smaller model because they transfer learning from both programming language and natural language effectively so here is a prompt uh, which is asked and it is able to translate code there are some more examples here so you can actually look at them and the another thing with gpt which pam talks about is it can fix code so you can see an increase in performance by fine tuning pam on python only code data set which we refer to as pam coder for example in code repair task called deep fix where the objective was to modify initially broken c programs until they compile successfully PAM achieved a very impressive performance achieving a compile rate of 82% outperforming the prior 71% state of the art so this opens up opportunity for fixing more complex code that arises during software development so that's the one and one the last one i wanted to talk about is the multilingual so where this PAM is uh, useful for us is was pre trained on parallel multilingual text on a much larger corpus of different language than its predecessor pam this makes excel at multilingual task so that's basically what i wanted to cover and i think that's all i had but uh, here are some more things i wanted to talk about how was pam built and evaluated it excels at task like advanced reasoning translation code generation because of how it was built it improves upon predecessors pam by unifying three distinct research advancements in large language models one is use of compute optimal scaling the basics of compute optimal scaling is to scale the model size and training data set in proportion to each other this new techniques make it smarter 
and smaller than the previous model but efficient with overall performance, faster inferences and fewer parameters to serve and a low cost and improved data set mixture. So previous was used on training data set that was mostly English only with the current model. The corpus of data used to train is more multilingual and diverse which makes hundreds of human and programming languages, mathematical equations, scientific papers and web pages relatively easier for it to understand. So updated model language has an improved model and architecture and was trained on variety of different tasks. All this helps to be highly efficient and get different aspects of input. So what PAM achieves to achieves so it achieves state of the art results on reasoning benchmark tasks such as we know grade and bench big bench hard it is significantly more lingual than our, than the previous palm model achieving overall greater results so it uh, in terms of responsible ai it has three new uh, uh, steps which makes it commit committed to safety and uh, uh, AI development which is pre-training data set, new capabilities and evaluation. So that's all I wanted to cover. I know this is a very long lecture but I would also attach the paper for you to read through. This would probably take a lot of time but it's worth the effort if you want to know all the new features that are coming up and how they work. Uh, and the results you get. So if you want to correlate all the three, this would be like a very good paper for you to read. Uh, and whether you don't, if you don't understand, you can just load this paper and ask it to understand, uh, explain it to you like uh, whatever your uh, understanding level is. So it would uh, scale down and explain to you. But this, some of these concepts are really important to understand because uh, this would basically make uh, when you apply some of these prompts the results that are provided to you it would give you a good understanding thank you for joining